Hola amigos de Cine TV Más, soy Juan Carlos y les doy la bienvenida a este nuevo video, que en esta ocasión es una entrevista que tuve el privilegio de hacer. Como ya les he contado en otras ocasiones, la plataforma Stars Play está creciendo en el mundo entero y por supuesto también en Latinoamérica. Una de sus series más exitosas es Power, y hace poquito la plataforma decidió sacar también un spin-off llamado Power 2 Ghost, en la cual seguimos las aventuras de Tariq, el hijo mayor del protagonista de Power. Y uno de los personajes más importantes de este spin-off de Power 2 Ghost es el abogado Davis McLean, interpretado magistralmente por el gran y único Method Man. Como ustedes saben, uno de los raperos, cantantes, hip hoperos más importantes del mundo. Y con él tuve la oportunidad de conversar largamente sobre lo que ha sido su participación en esta serie, lo intenso que ha sido el trabajo, lo duro que ha sido el trabajo, la recepción de sus fans, sus visitas a Chile y por supuesto lo que vendrá en la segunda temporada. Así que ya sin más preámbulos, los dejo con esta entrevista al gran Method Man. My first question is, uh, at the beginning of the show of Ghost, we, we see uh, Tariq as a young victim of his circumstance, who only wants to protect his, his family. But through the series, we see that he's a, a kind of mastermind who is capable of manipulate all of, all of, all of the people. Yeah. And step by step, he's becoming his, his own father. What do you think about the evolution of the characters in, in Ghost? I think that we have some brilliant writers who uh, live in real time and give honest uh, emotions to these characters. Uh, Tariq is, he's not even really that complex because Tariq is basically following in the footsteps of his father, which his father did not want, but thus is the St. Patrick legacy. I said that. Okay. And I'm talking about your character, Davis McLean. Yeah. He's a very serious guy. He, he never seems to love. He's always very elegant, very fancy. He's very different from the other characters. Uh, you use uh, the people knows you. Um, the the characters have you done before? How do you, how did you prepare to interpret it? And how much of Method Man is is in David McLean? All of that is Method Man. All of that. I'm giving you all the honesty that comes with a performance like that, you know. Um, I, I call him a well-spoken method man. There you go. Uh, for me, I was intimidated at first because when you hear lawyer, you think a certain sort of, uh, you need a certain sort of skill sets to be a lawyer, which I didn't have. Um, but once you start to get into the character and the humanity of a character, it kind of works itself out. And um, like I said, the writers are so good that after about two or three episodes, uh, filming wise, uh, they started to write this character for me. Whereas the first three episodes, the character had already been written. It was what it was, you know, and I had to go in an audition to be that character. But the writers uh, saw something and they started to put more of myself, inject more of myself into Jay, into uh, Davis McLean. And I mean, by the time the finale came, I had, I had a master. It's like, it's like breathing now for me. Okay. Do you feel more comfortable uh, with the, with the episodes? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's always that little bit of uncomfortability when you're on a new set and you're starting a new project. But uh, once you get to know some people and things like that, and they start to trust you, the confidence builds and you're off to the races. Okay. How has the public received your character uh, uh, or, or in the social media or your family or friends? What, what, do you, what do they tell you about Davis McLean? It's funny because the first two episodes, you know, they were really like, first of all, people were mad that the original was gone and none of the original characters were there. So a lot, it was a lot of, I ain't watching this show or F this show and that show's whack. Ain't nobody gonna watch it. Who wants to see Tariq star in the show? Um, after two episodes, it was, oh, okay. Uh, meth can't act. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been talking like that, but by, I, I kid you not, and this is actual, this is facts. By the third and fourth episode, it was like, oh, I hate Method Man. Why is he doing that to Tariq? Wait a minute, though. Two episodes ago, I couldn't act. 
Now it's like, I'm bringing these emotions out of you people and shit, I must be doing something right. Let's go there. You know, um, I'm gonna say that Power has some of the best fans in the world and some of the most closed minded <laughs> fans in yeah. the world. But once they give it a chance, everyone comes around and they, and they pretty much enjoyed this show. I mean, I, I even surprised myself to the point where it's like, did I really do that when I'm watching it? And um, if this is anything, I got an NAACP Image Award for it. So that's big for me, that's big. You know, that's bigger than my Grammy right there. Why? Because it came from my people. That NAACP came from my people. Okay, that, that's great. Yeah. Um, in, in chapter one, the, the first session, uh, when Tariq arrives at college, the principal tells him that young African-Americans must be faster and they must exceed expectations. What do you feel about that? It, and do you think it happens in your life and your in your career? If it was on that paper, it's a hard yeah. sentence. If it was on that paper, then yes, it's real. It's the same way. Let's take a female cop, for instance. She has to work twice as hard as a male counterpart, especially when she's dealing with civilians who don't respect women. First of all, now put another layer on top of that. She's black. That right there, you're limited and prejudge as soon as you come in the door. So yes, you have to work a little bit harder. You have to exceed expectations. You have to be extraordinary as opposed to ordinary. It comes with the territory and us as uh, minorities, we, even if we aren't taught that, we're shown that from the time we're, we're kids to the time we're adults. And uh, you can either bow down and, and, and play into a stereotype or you can show them that you're more and way better and exceed the stereotype. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, and, and in the show, we have several uh, strong women. Oh, yeah. Are, and that's another thing. That's, and that's what yeah. keeps our audience coming back the fact that they can see people up there that look like them in positions of power. No pun yes. intended. You know, um, how I many, how often do you turn on a, a TV show on uh, network TV and you see a, a, a Latina uh, US attorney? running shit yes. with people that, uh, with people, subordinates that work under her and take her orders. Only in the power universe, baby. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, uh, what what should we expect uh, as public of this second season? Well, um, you can expect to see Tariq still trying to navigate a world in which he was uh, born to be in, but not ready for. Uh, You're going to see Tariq have to deal with uh, the problems of growing pains, wearing too many hats at once, and what falls by the wayside, meaning like family and things of that nature. On top of that, he has to do it by himself. He doesn't have his mom anymore. He doesn't have his uh, father anymore. He doesn't have his surrogate father anymore, Canaan, or his Uncle Tommy. So he's pretty much been adopted by this Tejada family, but he has a bit more knowledge than what they know that he has, so. There are high expectations of the second season. He has to exceed <laughs> expectations at every corner. And not just that, even with his school, canonical studies, you know, he's prejudged from the door because of his background and who his father was. But once he opens his mouth to speak, they see how brilliant this kid is. And it's like, oh, okay. He's not the exception, or he shouldn't be seen as the exception to the rule. He should be seen as the, damn, I just had it, it was right there. Shit. Yeah, he should be seen as the rule. It should be normalized. It shouldn't be seen as, you know, an exception. It should be normalized. That's what I was looking for. Uh, for for the ending, right? Like if I'm sitting on a plane and I and I want to spark up and smoke some trees, that should be normalized. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, no problem. I, I get it. Um, I'm I'm from Chile, and you have been here several times singing. Yes. And uh, what memories do you have from Chile? <laughs> Food was good as fuck. The food was so good. Oh my god! And the people are always nice everywhere I go. They were very nice to me in Chile. I had a ball. Okay, yes, it's very good food. <laughs> We're all fat. <laughs> Love it. Nice. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I want to thank you. I just want to ask you if you can uh, say hello to the followers of Cine TV Mas, my my platform. Cine, Cine TV Mas. Hi. Yes, please. You can say hello. Hello. This is Method Man, and hi to all the watchers and listeners of Cine TV Mas. Thank you, guys. You are amazing. And congratulations for your for Ghost. Thank you. Viva la Chile. Ha, 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 ha.